it's your girl Anitra here with Different by Design, where faith and fashion connect. And I'm coming to you today with another video. If you are returning to my channel to watch another one of my videos, hey girl, hey. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. Just make yourself at home. Click that like button, click that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you can stay tuned for all things faith and fashion. So I feel like this video has been highly requested. It's highly awaited. And with all of the new releases that have been dropped by this brand, I feel like, girl, it's it's time. It's time, okay? Um, although this video is highly requested, highly awaited, it'll probably be one of the shortest collection videos on my channel because there's literally five items. <laughs> five items so we're going to try to move through this briskly so like i said so much is going on with this brand we have newly released colors oh we have we have to discuss the the replica market because i had an experience with one of these items and i was actually vlogging if i can it was earlier this year it was it, it was in January and I went into a beauty supply store. Yep. Uh, yep. I went to a beauty supply store um, and noticed that they had like an array of colors. They had an array of colors, like a whole section of just replica. The tote bags. OK, Amazon is flooded. You can get them off. Just they, they make me. Every time I see them, I get annoyed. I get so irked. I get so irritated. And the experience where I went into the beauty supply store, I happened to be carrying my real one, my authentic bag, my ordered it from the Marc Jacobs website bag. And one of the, I don't know if it's one of the store owners or just one of the employees was eyeing my bag down, y'all. Okay. And I'm just like, no, sir. No, sir. This this is not a replica. I didn't get this off DHgate. It didn't come from Timu. I didn't get it from Shein. I didn't get it off Amazon. None of the dot ru dot bi whatever these these luxury dupe sites. They're not dupes. Okay, they're replicas. These sites that I just I can't I can't get into it, y'all. This the replica market irks my soul so much and it's just like I see these bags everywhere and you can tell you can tell the bag is not real and it's to the point now where the replica market no longer cares about whether or not it looks real whether or not it looks authentic it's just like girl you bought it for me you don't you don't care take this and hush and so y'all it's just i i just cannot get into it it irks my nerves so bad um but i'm not going to ramble too too much because like i said there's only five items in this video so if you are interested in seeing my tiny but mighty mark jacobs collection stay tuned so we are going to start off with um an oldie but goodie I will stop and say that every item in this collection video, with the exception of one that's going to be unveiled today, um, has its own video. So what I'll do, y'all know how I do, thumbnail, the card, and the link will be in the description as well. We have this yummy green, The name, actually the color is Peridot. We have this yummy a uh, mini grind tote by the Marc Jacobs. And there it is there. It says Marc Jacobs, New York. This was a Nordstrom rack find. I got her on sale and yes. And this bag has made its appearance in its own video. And then also in um, the bags I barely reach for video. And I will say this, I love this bag. I love her, I love the color of her, I love the concept. That is the pros. The, another pro is silver hardware. And you're gonna notice, I should have said that in the beginning, 
that will always be my jam. I have gotten into gold hardware lately, but silver hardware will always be my jam. And that's something that I love about Marc Jacobs is that he's not afraid to use silver hardware. So again, color, as far as the color of the bag, this yummy Peridot color, it's not easy living green, y'all. It's not easy living green, okay? We have the silver hardware. We have the size of the bag. It's not too big, it's not too small. The only downside to this bag is out these handles. These handles and her crossbody strap. I just, I've never been a fan. I, can't, I just can't seem to get into it. This bag, I think I have carried it using um, like a silver bag chain before, but this right here, y'all, I just, I will never get into these flimsy crossbody straps. I feel like this bag would have fared so much better with like a rolled handle, like a something that gives you a little bit more to hold on to when you're carrying the bag. That's the only down downside to this bag. And I would say, like, I love the interior. I just wish that there was a way to, I mean, they do give you the zipper pocket in the middle. I will say that, so this is where you put all of the important stuff that you care about and don't wanna lose, like card holders, wallets, keys, your favorite lip gloss, you know, things like that. And everything else is just left to fend for itself. But that is, again, our Marc Jacobs Mini Grind Tote in the color Peridot. It's very much a nod to, um, what Louis Vuitton bag is made similarly to this? I have to look it up. If it's not, it's some luxury brand that has, like we know, yeah. So Louis has the lock and the key, um, but I'm trying to think, is it that luxury brand that has this style bag or is it another brand? If I've happened to find what I'm thinking about, I will put the picture here so you guys can see the comparison, but She's very straightforward and to the point. At one point, I thought I wanted this bag in another color. And because I barely reach for this one, that's what deterred me from getting another one. And then, like I said, these straps. Other than that, I would give this number a... I would give her a seven. I would give her a seven. <laughs> next slide, please. These next two items, the way y'all went off. Okay, the way y'all watch these videos it's just still amazes me to this day people are still leaving comments people are still asking questions and i am all the way here for it so many new changes new color releases colorways have come out lately we have that yummy lipstick pink we have that luscious it's like a cherry popsicle red it comes in like many sizes um the, the sizes have changed. So when I purchased these items, they were considered the small size. Now I believe they're called, the, they're considered the medium size because when I got into the game, it was just the mini, there was the small, and then there was the large. And the large, I could never get into it because the handles were, the handle drop, just, I just wasn't a fan. So I went with the small, but that is my, the tote bag by Marc Jacobs, okay? The two yummy items that I thought they were like, <laughs> y'all, if, listen, if you don't remember, just watch the videos, watch their videos, watch their videos. But y'all, these, oh, I'm so happy, so happy that I got these, okay? This, these two right here, I'm so happy that I got them because they are different. Um, the black, the tote bag, I feel like every middle school girl, every high school girl in my city has the black one, okay? If it's not the black one, what other color do I see consistently? I'm trying to think. It's the black one or it's like, what's the other color? 
it's like the I want to say it's like an army green color, but it's not green. It, I think it's khaki. I have to look and see. But I see that bag everywhere. And so that's what, because this was the first one, that's what helped me to make the decision on which one to get. I go into detail about how I, more detail in her video. But y'all, this, I did, listen, she did not steer me wrong. And it's been... I'm trying to think back. It's been over a year since I got her and I just, listen, she is the perfect work bag. I feel like she she makes a statement, but it's like an understated statement. It's like, you see me, you see me. Like I'm not doing too much, but I'm here. Like this bag, this bag, this bag. We all had concerns and questions about this warm sand color because it's a light color. How would she fare? The most that you can tell, of course, would be because the bottom. She does not have feet, but as you can see, it is minimal, minimal. Nothing that I feel a little warm soap and water wouldn't handle. Okay, the handles as well. I thought I was gonna, you know, continue to wear myself out with those twilly scarves, trying to protect the handles, but there really was no need. Just as long as you don't have like too many oils or too much lotion on your hand when you go to carry her, there'll be no issues. Like as long as I've had this bag and as much as I've used this bag for work and listen, my job, crazy situations at all time. I have not had after all this time, I have not had any issues with any spills, any, you know, as you can see, she still is in excellent condition. For a light colored work bag, that says a lot. I don't know, I'm trying to get as close as possible with the handles. As you can see, it's just a little bit of, you can tell she's used, but she's not dirty, okay? She's not filthy. even here like she's not filthy which I am here for I still use my let me see I still have junk in here from work I still have my inserts my um bag organizers now I will say this about the bag organizer life I'm back and forth about whether or not I like it because while it does provide structure for the bag, I feel like me, myself personally, I will say that, me, myself personally, this takes up all the space in the bag. And because I, it's, for me, honestly, it's nothing to do with the bag itself. I think it's the organizer that I purchased. Here's her strap. Let me not forget that. I... I think I've used this bag with the strap maybe two or three times. Other than that, strictly top handle. But I think it's the organizer that I bought has way too many pockets. Way too many pockets. And so in my efforts to be organized, I still feel unorganized because stuff falls everywhere. Um, but that, again, that has nothing to do with the bag itself. It's the organizer that I chose. I still keep her, um, all of the accoutrements that came when I made the purchase. Let me see. Oh, it's, oh, I ordered this in 2021. So, wow, y'all. So the fact that this bag is the color that it is, the lighter color, and I ordered her, October of 2021 and for her to be a work bag like a bag I reach for often and to still look this good is amazing okay so would I repurchase um another light color perhaps let me see here um, another light color bag if if there's a color that I really enjoy perhaps and the size is right perhaps Let's get into her sister. 
really quickly. Um, gotta put this back inside the bag. Now into the black bag, the black version. She also has a video, okay? There's still stuff in here, just by the fact that she almost fell out my hand. Still stuff in here from work. So I carried her maybe a couple days ago. This one. Again, I'm in love with the size. I'm in love with the fact that she's different. You, I do not see this bag or the bag that I have ever when I'm out and about, ever. I, like I said, I always see the the plain black one and there's like one other color that i see everywhere but this one i don't ever see it so like whenever i carry either one of these bags y'all it's like a head turning situation okay i love 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 so happy minimal wear again now this is like a satiny it's like a it's polyester, but I feel like it has like a satiny feel to it. Very minimal. Very minimal. Nothing that a little, like I said, soap and water couldn't handle. Okay. This is the bottom of the bag. Nothing that a little soap and water couldn't handle. Handles are in great condition now i will say it does look like the black is fading a little bit i will say that it looks like the black is fading but overall the bag itself is in excellent condition again silver hardware i will say the only downside for the black one and that is what deterred me from getting the plain black one is this bag can be a lint trap okay as you can see it can be a lint trap but again i keep a lint ruler in the car so it's not like something that will like make or break the experience she too has an organizer was it the same organizer yep it's the same or nope it's not it's a different organizer similar experience the organizer takes up all the space in the bag and so i just end up being unorganized in the organizer how sis how but here is her strap it's the same strap i did say at one point that i was going to invest in one of the um Mark Jacobs straps, but I just, for me, I'm just like, what are you buying the strap for if you don't use them anyway? And besides, like I said, the bags already have the logo all over it. Why would I then need the logo strap? Like it's a lot of writing already on them, which kind of like deterred me from getting the strap anyway. And so this one, let me see here, where is her? stuff wait a minute now I usually keep where is her uh I had to think back where did I order this one from this is the care instructions I also keep these in both bags the care instructions what in the world I don't know where it is I was trying to find the i got some of everything in this organizer i was trying to find the um envelope with all of the bag info in it but i am not finding it at this time so yeah so this here it is here mm -mm. ciao i still have the bag that it was shifting but I can't find the envelope. Make it make sense. It's make it make sense. Let me not make this video longer than necessary. Overall, I rate these bags a 10. I rate them a 10. Do I want more? Yes. I had my eye on the leather in this size. I just never narrowed it down to what color 
and it seems like every time I think I have an idea of what color, more colors are released. And in the event I make a decision and go through with the purchase, you should probably be subscribed to my channel and click the notification bell for the channel because I want you to be informed. Because listen, I can't, we can't start the journey and then you fall off. Like, that's not fair. I don't want that for you. I would hate that for you. So you should probably subscribe and then click the notification bell. So whenever that video is released, listen, the conversation can continue. You can experience all the feels that I feel <laughs> when I finally become a decisive citizen a decisive member of society and get another bag to add to my collection. So listen, 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend if you have one of these tote bags and it's not a replica. Yes, I'm coming for you. If if you own one of the Amazon bags, if you order, if you order yours from AliExpress, from DHgate, if you've ordered it from Timu, from Shein, from any other website other than a Mark Jacobs from the Mark Jacobs website or a um, department store website or an authorized seller. Um, if you did not get it in person from the Mark Jacobs or a department store or another authorized seller of authentic, yes, please. Please, by all means, I need you ladies to comment in the description. Comment, leave a comment below. Let me know your experience. Yes, but I am all the way here for it. The interiors are still in amazing condition for both. Amazing condition. The logo isn't the stitching is not coming out like nothing is unraveling there's no like loose threads to the point where like stuff is starting to fall apart yes y'all similarly for this bag awesome condition she's just a little linty i will say i have decided that's what it was I have decided that this is year round. This is fall winter. I carried this bag once in the summertime. Oh my goodness. When I say I regretted the decision with every step that I took, it just felt like the sun had focused on the bag. And because the sun was focused on the bag and the bag was in my lap, I felt like the sun also had an issue with me. <laughs> all of the heat that this bag collects <laughs> it just did not make any sense so i feel like this is more of a fall winter carry this one is all year round i've carried this in the summertime before and because it is warm sand because it gives canvas it can it can be whatever you need her to be this is the fair weather bag this is she's down for whatever it is what it is with this one this one is like i'm here for a good time not a long time but the good time has to occur in the fall and or the winter and then put me away <laughs> and also i feel like that's probably what explains what happens to the color as to why the color is fading a little bit like I also used to have my bag display shelf very close to the window. And so, yes, I feel like storing this in like too much sun exposure will definitely fade the color. Thankfully, I just remembered to mention that. Yes, so too much sun exposure. Um, it's just, it's fall, winter, fall, winter only fair weather, all weather, down for whatever. Listen, this is a winter baby, <laughs> like myself, okay? All right. Let me know if you have any other questions about these two 
in the comments below, but 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend, would highly recommend. This size is perfection. I do not see myself getting any of the mini bags. I just, I'm over the mini bag trend. It's just, it's not for me, okay? It's not for me. This, this is, this is my jam here. Next slide, please. Next up, we have our V Mark Jacobs. Let me get the name right, y'all. The Quilted Puffy Diamond J Mark bag, okay, in the color Wolf Gray. She, the video, her video recently dropped on my channel. Make sure you check her out. Thumbnail, card, link in the description. This She's a head turner as well. I love finding unique pieces that I don't think, items that I don't see everywhere. I have yet to see this bag anywhere. I have yet to see this bag on social media outside of the ad that they showed me to reel me in. Actually, outside of the email that I was sent to reel me in. She was found on the Zappos website. Don't, if you're interested, like I said, do not walk run okay she was on sale when i got her but i'm just she is leather pebbled leather okay get into her texture i've carried her so far about maybe three times i'm here for it listen she's down for whatever all year round i just i'm in love with her silver hardware this is her crossbody strap now i would i do see myself getting a i guess a mark jacob strap or another strap more than likely that's what it is probably like another type of strap like maybe even a longer chunky silver bag chain to go with her because honestly i've carried her crossbody with this strap i'm just i need brands to think when they make strips to make the, I feel like there should be a I feel like coach most of my coach bags no let me not say that I feel like coach does a good bag strap like the straps that were that come with the pillow tabby 26 I feel like whoever did the measurements for that strap get them a gold medal because they Yes, so this right here, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all of how thin this strap is. I feel like a strap that is two of these put together would be perfection. Like that is a perfect crossbody strap. So for this one, I do see myself getting like, trying to find maybe a longer um, chunky silver bag chain but so far so good no complaints on her um she came just in time for football season because i needed a gray bag and i last time i wore this i wore it with like my sequined my silver sequined uggs so it was just a fashion moment for me and so yes y'all i am here for her as you can see one thing i love about mark he's gonna put that j somewhere if his name is not all over it, you're gonna get his J, okay? I'm here for it. I love it. I love it. The J closure is very reminiscent of the Pillow Tabby 26. I, like I talk all about that in her video. I did a whole size comparison, everything. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, definitely check out that video. This one, yummy number here, so far so good. I would also give her a 10 out of 10, highly recommend. She came in three colors, at least that were recommended to me. There was this color, the wolf gray, there was like a lilac color, and then there was black. And I told y'all in her video that I was tempted to double back and get the black one. Next slide, please. <laughs> well, what do we have here? <laughs> so, I will say that I have opened the box. I have not um, taken the item out of the box, but just for the sake of time, I have opened the box. This is also a Zappos um, find, also on sale. Here we 
far. Now I will say right off the bat, as far as packaging is concerned, there is a major difference in how these items were shipped. So this one was shipped, let me see, is that still the packaging? So here is today's item. Y'all saw, y'all see the box, y'all see how well she's packaged. This item here was shipped in this right here. That's it, that's all, shipped in here. And, and amazon.com, uh, one of those paper mailers, not the padded one, not the, not the white padded one, but the paper one. This, this paper packaging, take your bag and hush. Sword. However, today's item. I'm just, yes, this is how it should have, the first one should have been shipped. This is how the great one should have been shipped. So let me open her up. I am here for it. Let me make sure I am still recording. She is wet. Yes. Yes. That's this is this. Yes. This is this is it. So I feel like this one may have come from an actual factory. And I feel like there was a possibility maybe the gray one was a return. I don't know. That's what it's giving because the gray one did not come like this at all. Oh, this is there. So, so yummy. So yummy. So this is the... <laughs> This is the heat. Yeah, all of this did not come with the with the gray one. So this is the Marc Jacobs, the quilted diamond puffy J Mark bag in the color black. Oh, get into her. Get into her. Get into her. Now y'all know I have a thing. It's very consistent across my channel. Where if I like something and it comes in multiple colors, I'm getting it in multiple colors. At least one other color, okay? One other color. And so, let me see if I can turn this down a little bit. But it shows you all the different ways you can wear her. You can wear her as a crossbody. Now look at the, look at the, the crossbody strap on that bag. Why not just give us that? <laughs> Okay, and then it says you can wear her as a shoulder bag with her chain, or you can carry her as a clutch. Oh, just so here for it. So let's see here. She's just, listen. Yes, this is how the first experience should have Can I tell you, it's funny that this will happen now. Can I tell you that this is the first first Marc Jacobs bag that I've received that actually came with a dust bag. Neither of these two came with a dust bag. This one didn't come with a dust bag. This one, because I got it from Nordstrom Rack, did not come with a dust bag. Crazy, right? Crazy. Some of y'all have no idea about that experience because your bags came with a dust bag. I feel like I should call corporate, okay? Get them to send me all of my dust bags, all of my missing dust bags. But yes, again, we have our interchangeable strap, another flimsy crossbody strap, again with our silver hardware, oh, just so here for it, so here for her, yes. I have been in desperate need of just a regular sized black shoulder bag um, because I, all I currently have now is um, y'all know the brand <laughs> that has taken over my bag collection and most of them either have uh, brass hardware um, or 
gold hardware. And I was like, I need a smaller black bag because I don't always want to be XXL. I needed a smaller black um, shoulder bag, but the one that I really wanted just, it's not going on sale. It's not because it, it's, it's not. And that's the Pillow Tabby 26 in black with the silver hardware. She's not going on sale anytime soon. But this right here, oh yes. Just so yummy and soft, squishy, puffy, quilted goodness. Oh. This is her interior. We have the um, tag here. We have our silver. We have our silver hardware and on our zipper compartment with the leather little pull tab here. Care card is on the inside of that. Yes, microfiber lining on the inside that we have this pocket in the front more microfiber lining this silver hardware with the strong snap closure we have the mark jacobs uh etched into the hardware and then i showed you guys on the last bag the last video um, that the chain is detachable. All you do is just this little clasp here. You fold her down and you can either attach, detach this one, add your own strap of choice. Yeah, but the D-ring does fold down. So there you have that. And then her strap has the little dog leash clips here. And whether or not you choose to carry her with both straps or just the one or carry her as a clutch is completely up to you. But oh, y'all know how I feel about the squishy puffy quilted. Just here for it. Now, honestly, y'all, I'm surprised and I almost feel like maybe I should keep this idea to myself. But Mark Jacobs, if you're watching, I'm surprised that you have not figured out a way to make quilted J's, <laughs> make puffy J's. I'm surprised that they're just diamonds and not J's because you, you know you love your name. You know you love your name. And because my middle initial is J, I get it. <laughs> I, I totally get it. But yes, y'all. So y'all I know how I do. If it comes in multiple colors, I'm gonna have at least one additional color. If it comes in multiple colors, I'm gonna have at least one other color. And honestly, y'all, I almost had one other color. It was like a yellow color, but because I don't reach for this bag that often, I didn't get the other color. But I feel like if I'm able to find I don't know. Maybe this will be the bag. We'll see about that. But maybe this will be a reason to to invest in the strip and possibly carry her more often. See how that goes. And then maybe find the other color that I was interested in because this bag comes in other sizes. It comes in a larger size. There's other designs where there's like a pocket in the front not my ministry i'm not here for it i like the single color um we'll see i'll keep y'all posted again you should probably be subscribed click the notification bell so you know what i'm doing um okay so you, you can stay updated but yes y'all and then like i said this is the first item that has actually shown love and give your girl a dust bag okay and low key, I like how this looks because this is very, it's very, I would say luxury. Can't even say luxury. I would, th this is very much luxury, very much classy, very 
chic. I feel like the chain could edge her up a little bit more. I feel like the chain does work to edge her up a little bit more, but perhaps a bag strap with like the logo on it could like edge it up even more. What y'all think? Again, very classy, very classic. Stands the test of time. You could reach for this years to come. You won't regret the decision. Perhaps a bag chain. Mm, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But that concludes my Marc Jacobs collection video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And that concludes today's bag collection video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you own any of these items? Are you tempted to now purchase any of these items? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I completely forgot to mention, um, as far as these two are concerned, when it comes to the discussion of scotch guarding, okay, because that was asked multiple times, I do not recommend, okay? I do not recommend. I definitely recommend you follow the care instructions on the website, the care instructions that are also included in the bag when you make the purchase from an authorized. I'm gonna to continue to hammer it through from the Mark Jacobs website, a department store website, authorized seller website, not the middle of the mall, not the beauty supply store, not off the stand outside. Um, none of the, y'all y'all get it, y'all get it, okay? Follow the care instructions. I know there have been people who have tried to argue me down in the comments about, I use Scotchgard, well, you use this, okay? I don't recommend it, but do you, okay? I have not, this. I've had this one the longest out of these two no scotch guard has been used i've had this bag since 2021 i showed you all the condition i don't recommend any other i don't i don't recommend it follow the instructions follow the care instructions for all of them but yes y'all that concludes today's collection video let me know what you think in the comments below if you have enjoyed this video make sure you click the like button click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and click that notification bell so you can stay tuned for the next video that i release on my channel if you know another bag loving girly who would enjoy this video or any of the other content on my channel don't be stingy don't be a gatekeeper share this video with her make sure she too clicks that like button clicks the subscribe button clicks the notification bell so she too can stay tuned for all things faith and fashion on my channel again my name is anitra with different by design where faith and fashion connects and you have a great week i know i said that was the end of the video but yet here we are with me in a different outfit <laughs> on a completely different day okay listen we found goodies we found goodies that's all i can say is we found goodies <laughs> as i was editing this vlog y'all tell me why there were two items that i happened to stumble upon that we discussed that i wanted to add to my collection in the beginning of this video that I happened to find them. So I was like, oh, they have to be included in this video because they're a part of the collection now too. They're a part of the Mark Jacobs family. They're a part of the family now too. So I had to include them. So really quickly, where else would I find them? Nordstrom Cares, y'all. Just take all my coins at this point. So I got some smell goods. I discussed that in a vlog. Y'all will hear more about that later. Here are the two latest editions as you can see whatever this is came with a dust bag okay this is and it's crazy that of all items that i i currently have by this designer that will come with a dust bag it would be this <laughs> hilarious and this is let's see here and this is the flat card case in the color black. As you can see, very well packaged. 
she has her care instructions. Perfection. She has Marc Jacobs NYC 1984 hot stamped in silver. Listen, ask me what bags I'll be carrying her with. You said all of them. <laughs> you answered correctly. Exactly what was needed. Under under assignment. Assignment understood. Okay. How do you open her? All right. Oh, this is perfect. So she has one, two, let me see, one front card slot, like a little back, I guess, wallet section. Then she has card slots on this side. Let's see, then she open the other way. And then another pocket on the back. Utter perfection. There was a Marc Jacobs card case that I saw shortly after I got the warm sand jacquard tote and I slept on her. And that card case would have matched both of my jacquard totes, but I have not been able to find it. But this is actually a lot better because she is roomier. She has Marc Jacobs hot stamped in silver on the inside as well. Listen. One thing we've learned about Mark is he going to find a way to put his name everywhere. But she's like buttery soft and she expands. So we are here for her. Okay, next item. And again, she came with a dust bag. How cute. How cute. So I'm going to figure out what I can use this for. Because I'm not storing this car case in a dust bag. Next slide. This item I'm excited about it as well. And this is the Marc Jacobs Large Cosmetic Case in the color black. And Yes, and it is the Marc Jacobs New York little plate in the front, silver hardware. Let's see here. She has silver zipper, looks on the inside. So she's stuffed. She has her little care instructions. Oh, Y'all. This is perfect for the pouch loving girlies out there. This is just as buttery soft as the puffy quilted. Oh, y'all, this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Let me grab the bag and do a comparison. And it's crazy because I told y'all that this was my Marc Jacobs collection. I don't know why I didn't think to add the fragrances that I have by him because and it's crazy that I y'all please hold so this is our cool tip puffy J mark this is our luscious cosmetic bag listen it's quilted it's so soft if y'all can feel this it's so so soft so yes child so this will be perfect inside of the jacquard tote bags and where is our and then she will be and then she will be utter perfection inside here so these have like similar similar feel to them as far as like texture see that but oh yes child yes now like I said I don't know why it didn't cross my mind but listen all things work together because it's crazy that I ordered these items at the same time I ordered this little gift set here so let's start in the beginning my very first 
Marc Jacobs fragrance was the Marc Jacobs Perfect and the Perfect Intense travel size. I have a habit of starting with the travel sizes and working my way up to the larger bottles if I enjoy the travel size. And I've learned that the Intense is exactly that. I use the Intense more than I use the regular Perfect because to me, the regular Perfect, the scent does not last the way the Intense lasts. So if I happen to get more of this fragrance, I'm gonna just stick with the Intense and not the regular Perfect. I actually just gave my mom, she smelled this and just went crazy over the scent. So I actually got her one of the, um, the travel sizes too. I don't know if she's using it or not, but she got it. Next up we have, I've also found these, the Daisy Dream travel sizes. I love, I love, I love, love these. Next up, we fell in love with the honey. I'm so mad this scent was discontinued, y'all. I'm so mad because I want a travel size so badly. And with every time I see a larger bottle of this, I have to get it, have to grab it because this scent is just too good. The audacity to discontinue it. The bottle is just so adorable and it looks so cute on my acrylic uh, cart. Y'all, this mm, this scent is amazing and a couple sprays and it lasts all day and it's just, oh, y'all, I just, mm, mm, mm. it's just too, too good. Just too, too good. So yes, y'all, Marc Jacobs Honey. And then I went on a spree trying to find all the cute little bottles because I love his packaging. And this is Dot by Marc Jacobs. And as you can see, it has a lovely pearl and it ladybug detail. This also smells incredible. I have yet to find, so this is the 1.6 full ounces. And this one is 3.3 full ounces. So at this point, this is the only size I'll accept. <laughs> I need the largest sizes. And last but not least, our new additions. We have more Marc Jacobs Daisy. So this travel set includes just the regular Daisy by Marc Jacobs. We have the Daisy Marc Jacobs, oh, so fresh. And then we have the Daisy Love. All the toilet sprays all in here. Oh, all of these smell incredible y'all incredible so he does not miss when it comes to fragrances he does not miss when it comes to bags he does not miss when it comes to slgs okay i am here for all of it and like i said he is gonna find a way <laughs> to put his name or his initials somewhere on the product but that's okay it's it's minimal it's minimal. Is she getting anything else? Not that I know of. <laughs> Not that I know of. I don't plan on it the rest of this year. She's on a shopping fest, okay? I, I Nothing else, nothing else. I see stuff, like I said, today is Black Friday. I see stuff. I purposely stayed in the house all day today. Purposely stayed in the house. Ads, text messages from places I've, I've purchased stuff for. Mark Jacobs has been texting me all day. And I'm still eyeing the tote bags that I've been telling y'all about. The colors, they have been calling me all day, but thankfully I was able to exercise restraint. That's it for now. That is it for now, y'all. Okay, that is it for now. Like I said, y'all see me posting, just, I, I, <laughs> I can't even say it right because it don't even sound right coming out of my mouth. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, damn. That's what I don't need to post. Ah, ah. Girl, stop. <sighs> this officially concludes this video. If you have enjoyed this video, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you own any of these items, let me know in the comments below what your experience has been. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Again, my name is Anitra, we're different by design, we're faith and fashion connect. 
like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell so you can stay tuned for all things faith and fashion. Again, my name is Anitra with Different by Design where Faith and Fashion Connects and you have a great week. So y'all thought the video was done. However, we made it through Black Friday. However, Cyber Monday got me all. Here we have our quilted J Mark shorter bag. I'm not even giving right add more to this video. If you are interested in finding out more about this yummy item, her video will be posted. <laughs> her video will be posted, okay? Stay tuned for her video. That's it, that's all. <laughs>